Hey fishy friends, thought it was time I should actually do an update. So uh, this is what's going on with the tanks at the moment. I've got my beautiful Danel 30 litre tank, mainly for shrimp. Had a bit of a change around in here, as you can see a couple of little fellas down there who are having an absolutely fantastic time. This does still have a uh, pygmy Corridorus in there, I've got about 10 to 15 now. I've sold quite a few off and, and given even more away because these guys just love breeding. But as you can see, everything's beautiful and green in there. I'm using the Danel Dosator, which I've got just up there. Excuse all the duckweed and everything else. That's proving to be an absolute godsend. Um, for those of you who don't know, basically what it does is you put the correct dosage of fertiliser in there each week and it slowly drip feeds the tank so it's getting a regular supply of nutrients instead of all of one in one go so that's helping to stop uh, algae building up and things like that. Um, haven't had to use any kind of root tabs, nothing like that. I'm using a little Tropica thing in the background there for some CO2 and the Donnell plant LED and it's just blooming in there everything's taking off beautifully I'm, I'm looking at rescaping though I've got some environment soil which I'd like to try out instead of just having it on basic quartz gravel thought that might be a nice change this is going to be swapped out for just some different types of moss mainly because I'm sick of java fern. I really am. Um, yeah, I've got some new shrimp in there as well. I was hoping they'd come out to play, but they are all hiding still. I've got some fancy tigers, which I got from the lovely, lovely people at uh, Shrimp and Scape. Let's see if I can find any. Really. There's the pygmy corries having a great time. Loving them. Uh, yeah, nowhere to be seen, unfortunately. But they're absolutely beautiful. If you get a chance, go on to the Shrimp and Skate website. They are... they, they look kind of like zebra shrimp. They're, they're pretty amazing colours. I've got five of them in there. Oh, if I can just zoom in one second. There's one of the beauties. Can't really see it very well, unfortunately, due to the rubbish camera. But you get the idea. They're absolutely beautiful, and thank you for sorting me out with those. They are fantastic. Over to the 180. You might notice a little bit of a difference with this tank now. So just moving my bum around my bed. I was having some major problems after using some plant substrate. There wasn't enough of a cap on there. There was massive dead spots in the tank, and it was just a, an uphill struggle, and it just got to the point where I thought, okay, I've got a few good in the bank, I'll just buy some JBL Zanzibar sand. Took all of the old substrate out, there was about four inches of it, so that was quite a few bucket loads. And uh, yeah, just replaced it, done a bit, bit of a new scape. The Java Fern will be going, I'm hoping to get some Rotalia or, or something nice to go in that corner just to give some more hidey holes and uh, just turning it into a, a whiptail paradise so tomorrow I will be saying goodbye to my beloved peppered corries so I've got seven of them in there at the moment and I will be getting a couple more of my beautiful whiptails so you can see there beautiful fish. I've got another two arriving next Wednesday. I'm really hoping they breed because they're just amazing looking. And uh, Alfonso will be going because he's turning into a bit of a bully. Which is the perils of Siamese algae eaters once they get to a decent size. So just thinning the, the numbers out in the tank, making it a little bit nicer for everyone else in there. Hopefully the whiptails will breed. My cribs starting to colour up a bit more earlier on Mr Crib there he, he had his beautiful red stomach on it was absolutely fantastic great to see he was uh, having a little bit of a I don't know get to know you session with the female that I've put in there so hopefully things will be right for them 
I was hoping that Falcor, my albino Bachir, would show his face, but he did get fed about 20 minutes ago, so he's gone into hiding and he's waiting for the lights to go off. So he'll probably come out again then. I've managed to get rid of, I believe it was seven Bristlenose Plecos. They had the original two who bred frantically. Thought I'd got all of them out, took them to Maidenhead. They sorted me out and just gave them new homes and there were still babies in there who grew and grew. Alas, after getting rid of the last ones, I found this guy, this little ninja who had been hiding in Bogwood, which I had sitting in a half empty bucket for a day. So how he survived, I have no idea. He's pretty much indestructible, I think. But I'm hoping with just the one guy in there, things will be all right. But main reason for doing the video, I just <laughs> is this fella. My stunning 60 litre Danel Marinus tank. Oh, I've showed you this before, but it's starting to come along absolutely beautifully. Um, it's a great tank. You get everything that you need in with it for the price. Uh, you get sand, huge amount of sand with it. Uh, you get the biocirculator over here, which is a combination of a surface skimmer and basic filtration and power head so it does really well if you're just keeping inverts and things like that or just soft corals perfect for that i wanted to get some fish in there as well so i've got a cheapo hang on the back filter and as you can see just by the iron man poster which is just providing a lot more support for the ecosystem got another power head there pump with the wave maker because I, I just like to be safe really um, yeah but this this is doing well it's, it's gone through the diatom stage there's still some algae but that's to be expected for the first year or so and I've had back problems recently so doing water changes and things like that have been a bit of a problem um, back problems possibly from redoing the 180 you know, just just an idea but to see what I've got in here at the moment. The coralline algae is growing beautifully on here. I've got three emerald crabs, a couple of beautiful little snails there, my little dragonette who's a little beauty. I love him to bits. He is costing me a small fortune in copepods though, which is proving to be a little bit of a problem, but you know, it's all right. Once I get the hang on the back filter sorted out, then no, I'll start breeding themselves. In here, I was hoping he was going to show his face, but apparently not. I've got my yellow watchman goby, and he's been paired with a pistol shrimp, and they've they're just absolute workhorses. They've been fantastic. They've been building and building and building. This is Oscar. You can see him there, he's my, uh, yep, he's my Blenny. He's an algae eater, so lawnmower Blenny, whichever name you know him as. He's doing it, doing an okay job, so I'll try and get that focusing, there you go. He's doing an okay job, but um, it's, it's the main problem that I've got with this tank. I mean, it's a fantastically made tank, it's absolutely stunning, just the aesthetic value is worth the price alone but the curved edges make it very hard for um, using any kind of algae scrapers especially if you've got one with a long handle that's that's my gripe really uh, the corals are all doing fantastic I've been buying them very small and growing them out myself that one started off as two heads and this is over the period of three months Little frag there, lovely big guy there, with, he, he came with a lovely addition there, nice little fan worm. This started off as two heads, there's now hundreds. 
possible slight exaggeration, but there's quite a few. My little, uh, I believe it's a recordia. I'm rubbish with the name still, slowly learning that. But he's tripled in size since I got him. I'm buying everything for three to four pounds and just growing them out to see what happens. Got two cleaner shrimp. They are having a whale of a time and the first time I put my hand in the tank just to have a bit of a clean up, I was not expecting them to mob me. They just leapt on my hand and started cleaning my nails for me, which I, I thought was very kind of them. And so I'll be uh, doing that a little bit more often. They are the loves of my life. I also had David Bowie, who's just showing his head there. He's a blue cheek goby. He's a sand sifter. I thought to help keep the sand clean, do it the natural way instead of relying on you know, getting hoses in there all the time. He's been a bit of a pain. He's been moving sand everywhere. He's been burying corals, God knows what else. But he's he's a character, so that's nice. Anyway, I, I think that's about it. I've got several snails in there as well, a couple of hermit crabs, the, the standard stuff. The only thing I will say about this tank, apart from the corners that I've had problems with, is keeping any kind of zoanthids alive. This was full of beautiful zoas that my friends sorted me out with, and yeah, they've. I don't know whether it's flow, lighting, or what, but the water quality all seems perfect, and they just snuff it. No luck whatsoever with them. So I'm giving up on zoas for the time being until I can work out what exactly is the problem. Oh, and there's another fan on there. Feather duster. Uh, the biocirculator itself, cracking bit of kit. If you are going to be keeping fish or anything else in the tank, um, just it's the usual, try and keep the bio load right down because this is this tank is meant to have, you know, invertebrates in there and corals they they recommend if you are going to have a fish have like a fish in there because it's it's not a huge volume of water it's 60 litres so especially with marine ones you are going to have problems the surface skimmer part it does need very regular cleaning because it, you will get algae build up on it coralline algae which will weigh it down which will cause issues with film on the surface but the thing I both love and hate about this is when it's working properly and your water levels start going down, it'll make this god awful gurgling noise and just start spraying out air everywhere. And that's a nice way of saying, can you please put tomorrow in here for now? So, uh, you know, mixed blessings. But overall, it's, it's, it's work. It's a lot of work, but you've got to expect that from any kind of marine tank. And I love it to bits, so big thanks to Sebastian at Pro Shrimp for selling this to me. And to Patrick and the rest of the guys at Donnell for all their amazing work on all of their stuff, really. I'm a massive Donnell fanboy now. Uh, yeah, if you've got any questions about any of the tanks or any of the gear in there, give me a shout. Or head on over to the group that I admin for, Hampshire Aquascaping and Fish on Facebook. Massive group now, over 2,000 members, doing really nicely and everyone's absolutely friendly. Don't think there's been any issues at all. So uh, yeah, give us a shout. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe and see you all soon. Bye bye.